So if you look here, you can see all these blue colors. This is a color code for a wrapper that we're using, and this is all Maduro wrappers, and this is for our Perdomo 20th anniversary. So if you look at these wrappers, they're warm now, and they're about 104 degrees. And what we do with the Maduro wrappers, these are on the more higher part of the plant, which we call higher viso. And if you look, you can see these colors are a chocolate, dark chocolate. That's the natural color of Maduro. But Maduro means to ripen. And this tobacco has a lot of sugar content. If you smell it, it almost smells like a sweet, woody, spicy type of tobacco, which is its natural properties. The reason it has so much starch and sugar is because it has a lot of sun exposure. And what happens when we sort and select these tobaccos through the evolving process of fermentation, what we do is when we start seeing tobaccos turning darker that are sound and whole, what we do is we, we select these and we're going to see if they're going to become wrappers in the future. And these are wrappers already. These wrappers have been in aging for over 60 months. So basically what we do is we take these strings which are a little bit different than what you saw earlier with the, with the filler fermentation. Also you see paper and this paper is actually individually wrapped around these little conduits of, of these little ponytails we call it and that's to protect none of the wrapper leaves from getting cut by any of these stalks. So after these are done these are shaken and if you notice here the top is now at the bottom, the bottom is at the top, the insides of the outside and the outsides of the inside and wrappers take a little longer time to ferment by doing them naturally like we do them. So these are, these are Maduro wrappers that you see under fermentation. Next what we're going to show you is our sun-grown wrappers and how they ferment. We're going to go over here and show you that right now.